Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will show you how to make a low poly gun. For this tutorial I gonna create a Glock AD. There are several steps to create this weapon. All the links of the times are in the description. Step 1. Preparation. Go on your favorite search browser, type your weapon name, go in image section, look for a profile image like this one and save it. Step 2. Blender setup. Open Blender, remove all the objects. I recommend to choose Cycles Render. If you don't have this panel, just press N. Now scroll down and you have background image. Click on add image. Select open and find your image. Now if you press 1, 3 or 7 on the numpad, your image should be appear. If is not the case, just press 5 on the numpad to switch in perspective mode. I recommend to set axis in front. Step 3. Modeling. Create a cube by pressing Shift A, select Mesh and Cube. Move your cube by pressing G on the handle and resize it by pressing S. Now go in Edit mode by pressing Tab and press Z to switch in wireframe. There select Vertex if this is not the case. Now if you right click on the Vertex, you can move it. But that's not what we want. We want to move two vertices that are on the same axis. In my case, this is the Y axis. To do that, always in front view, press B to activate the box select tool or press C to activate the cycle select tool. If you select vertex with this tool in autographic mode and in wireframe, you will select all the vertices that are on the same axis. Now press A to unselect all the vertices, press B or C to activate the selection tool you want and select one corner of the cube. Press G to move it to one of the edges of the image, do the same for the other corners as I do. You don't have to follow the outline of the image properly for now, I will show you how to do it later. When your four corners are plussed, select the bottom corner with the select tool and press E to extrude them and place two new corners lower. Do this for the entire handle. I will do it quickly. Ok now, if your model doesn't follow the image perfectly, as here, you can add edges using the keys Ctrl R. A pink edge appears if you're moving your mouse over existing edges. When you make a left click, you can change the position of the edges created. And if you make a right click, the new edges will be placed in the center. You can do this until it seems low poly. Now I will just keep making the clock with the same technique. You have just to follow your image with extruding. Now I will make this part of the weapon. To do that, I will add another cube, always in edit mode. First, press Shift C to center the 3D cursor, and after same technique, press Shift A to add new cube. Be careful that the cube is always orange when you want to modify it. Place it there, and resize it with a good proportion. And then always the same, extrude with E and follow the image.
the trigger and the slide are part of the weapon that can move. Then there are several solutions to move them. For this tutorial I will create different parts, I think this is the simplest. So we will do the slide. Switch to object mode here or by pressing tab. Again press shift C and press shift A. Place this new cube on the top of the weapon. Resize it with the same size. Switch to edit mode. Switch the snap element to edge and activate this button. I will show you what it's used for. Select the bottom of the cube like this. Press G and Z to move it only on the Z axis. Lower it until it touches the other cube. The snap element will just put the selection at the same position as the selected edge. Now you can just continue to extrude the cube. For the trigger, same technique. Switch to object mode. Again, press Shift C and press Shift A. Place it and resize it. Extrude. It's done I think, you have all the key to continue to make your weapon, I will give you some advice for the next. Additional step, tips. For this gun they have a barrel, we will do it. Select this object, go in edit mode, press shift C and shift A and select circle, then press F6, change the vertices number as you want. I like to put 8, rotate it in Y axis by pressing R and Y and set 90. Move it and resize it. Select vertex there. Select the cycle and extrude it in X axis by pressing E and X. Press A to unselect all. And select these vertices with the selection tool. Press E and right click to set the new extruding cycle at the same position. Then press S and size it as you want like this. And now extrude again in X axis. Now you have a barrel. Last tips. After finishing, I like to make less cubic the weapon. For dots, I use the bevel tool. Simply select edges like this and press Ctrl B. You can select all the edges with the Alt right click like this. Uh, and I think it's good. I will probably do a part 2 to improve this weapon with bone and texturing maybe. If you have any questions or suggestions, say it in the comments.